Good afternoon. Due to the severity of the storm and the subsequent flooding, I'm going to declare a state of emergency in the city of Patterson. As a matter of fact, I'll be signing that declaration momentarily. However, I do want to provide some details relative to the aforementioned severity of the storm and like I stated before, the subsequent flooding. So Arch and Temple Street Bridge will be closed. Schools are closed. There was an early dismissal and they will be closed until further notice. Quite frankly, we want to keep everyone out of harm's way, both the children, the staff, also of course the parents picking up the children. We'll be splitting resources between the police and fire departments on each side of the river due to the bridge closing. The closing of the bridges will impact commutes for individuals, so we're going to ask people to stay away from some of these streets and bridges, especially Arch and Temple, which will be closed. And Code Blue will be activated on Tuesday evening. Now, what we're expecting, is, if I could just delve a little deeper into the details relative to the river, we're expecting it to a crest, to crest. And by 12 p.m. tomorrow, it'll be 10 feet high, so you can understand what we're dealing with as far as flooding is concerned. And we've already gotten reports in these low-lying areas in Patterson, we have severe flooding. So we have public works teams that are out there now in those low-lying streets addressing the flooding conditions. And we have the Office of Emergency Management, which will monitor and update Pattersonians constantly. I've already recorded a robocall, and we're going to do everything we can relative to communications to get the word out about what we're doing as a city. But I also want to elaborate a little further on Route 20 North. Northbound will be closed from 10th Ave to 5th Avenue, and that will be in effect until Thursday, I believe. So, again, we are tracking this storm. We want to keep people out of harm's way, and we believe that it is prudent at this juncture for me to declare a state of emergency in the city of Patterson due to the aforementioned issues that have emerged as a result of the inclement weather. So at this time, I'll open the floor to the questions and then I will sign this declaration. When you say the river will crest at 10 feet, does that mean it'll be 10 feet above its banks or just a few feet above its banks? Uh, it'll be a few feet above its banks. Yeah. Right. But still, nevertheless, like if you want to, in fact, I was driving my daughter to school today and I made it a point to say, look, that thing is going to exceed where it is right now and it's going to pose a lot of problems. In fact, they were encouraged that that might affect school and that they might be home. There, but that's just a personal note. Are there specific neighborhoods that you're... Yeah, so these low-lying areas, the north side is prone to flooding. We also have River Street, which I've often said, right, Detective Captain, and when it rains, it's more river than street. And we understand you'll be deploying your fire and police, police forces. Police, right. Kind of splitting them in half. Talk about Correct, that. we're splitting the resources on the other side of the river just in case there's a rescue operation that is needed. We've done that in the past. We've had that issue. So we want to be properly prepared in the event that anyone is in danger as a result of the severe flooding. Did you have any rescue operations yet? So Not that I know of, but like I stated before, we're expecting the worst to occur in about 24 hours. And one other question. There was a report that a tree fell on a home or apartment building and a child may have been injured. Yeah, I'm awaiting confirmation relative to whether or not a child had sustained injury relative to what you just said with the tree. Any other questions? Okay, so at this time, I'm going to sign this declaration. If you want to. Then I'm going to also ask our coordinator to come forward as well. Here's the How long will that stay in place? The state of emergency, well, right now we're monitoring the situation. So if at 12 p.m. it crests, we're still going to have the state of emergency in effect. Probably it'll be until Wednesday. Could even be Thursday. So hopefully the students will be able to learn virtually. They still have the Chromebooks. So I'm encouraging teachers to make sure they get it in. Now I'm speaking from the perspective of a, of a parent. I want them to make sure that they get their studies in. 
So what are you, you letting schools out early today? They, they're out. They've been dismissed already. And so they will be closed until further notice. And then, like I stated before, I'm hoping that these students can learn virtually. They're accustomed to it. So at least most of them are. I want to thank our Office of Emergency Management. Thank you, Coordinator. I want to thank our police, fire, public works, everyone for coming together during this trying time. And, and our school district as well. Thank you, Dalton Price, representing. We will keep you apprised of any updates that are relevant to this situation. Thank you for joining us.